Diodes are electronic devices that allow the flow of current in one direction and block or limit current flow in the opposite direction. To learn more about what diodes are and how they function, take a look at our video titled What is a Diode? Rectifier diodes are the most common types of diodes, included are standard, shot key, silicon carbide, super barrier, and field effect rectifier diodes. Standard diodes, with doped semiconductor regions, allow the flow of current in forward bias as long as the forward voltage, around 0.7 volts in typical diodes, is exceeded. In reverse bias, diodes block current flow unless the maximum reverse voltage is exceeded. Schottky diodes are constructed of a metal semiconductor junction, as opposed to two doped semiconductor regions. The thin layer of metal bonded to an N-type semiconductor material provides a smaller depletion region than the standard diode. This requires a smaller forward voltage of 0.4 volts and a near-zero reverse recovery time. Disadvantages include higher reverse bias leakage currents and lower maximum reverse voltage. Silicon carbide diodes provide enhanced performance over traditional silicon devices by offering high maximum reverse voltages as well as low forward voltages. Super barrier or SBR diodes are a proprietary term and design from Diodes Incorporated. These were created as an improvement to typical Schottky diodes by providing a lower forward voltage with low forward current. However, as forward current rises, the forward voltage has the potential to rise as well. FERD, or Field Effect Rectifier Diode, is another proprietary term and design, this time by ST Microelectronics. These were similarly designed to improve upon standard Schottky diode function by providing a lower forward voltage that is likely to rise as the forward current rises. Other common diode types include Zener, Avalanche, TVS or Transient Voltage Suppression, LEDs or Light Emitting Diodes, photodiodes, and variable capacitance diodes. Zener diodes are designed to break down, thus allowing current to flow in either direction. The catch is that they will only break down to allow reverse current flow at a specified voltage as long as temperature ratings are not exceeded. They are commonly used in applications such as voltage regulation, surge suppression, clipper circuits, and more. Avalanche diodes are similar to Zener's, as they are also designed to break down and allow reverse current, but at a much higher voltage tolerance. Because they create a lot of noise, they are most commonly used in applications that require a noise source, such as radio equipment. TVS, or transient voltage suppression diodes, are used to protect against momentary overvoltage events by either dissipating or diverting the excess energy, depending on the subtype of TVS diode. Optical diodes change in accordance to light transmission, the most easily recognized optical diode is the LED, or light emitting diode. LEDs emit light only when forward biased and do not function when connected in reverse. Photodiodes are another type of optical diode that allow current to flow through them based on the ratio of light they receive. Variable capacitance diodes are unique in that they act as variable capacitors, as the name states, rather than as rectifiers. They function in reverse bias and can easily determine the junction capacitance change based on the bias voltage applied to the device. Diodes are a vital component in the electronics industry, with the diverse variety available creating robust solutions for many applications. Find all the types discussed here and more at digikey.com. Want to watch more videos like this? Like and subscribe!